Hey traders, T. Bradley 90 here. For those who do not know, Alex took on the challenge recently of seeing how much he can grow a $30,000 account in 30 trading days and the results are in and he made $84,000 in less than 30 trading days, which turned his $30,000 account into $113,000. Alex recently put together a free mentorship course with his mentor, Bao, explaining exactly how he did this. The link is available at myinvestingclub.co slash Alex. There's limited seating every single week, so be sure to reserve your spot. As a very special gift to our YouTube viewers, I want to announce something very special. This is my personal phone number, my personal number that I am putting out to you guys. If you have any questions about joining MIC or on the fence about joining our wonderful club, you can contact me now directly and personally, and I will get back to you. Hey, everybody. So I want to talk about ZM or Zoom, and I'm going to show a couple more too uh, to give you an idea of why you want to be there the first time. Now, um, if you're struggling with being there up front on the trades um, and you're finding yourself losing more or you're trying to scale into the position um, and you find yourself getting stopped out, the reason is because when it hits the first time and it, and it either bounces or it pays you basically, it puts you in the money, you've got to take the money. You can't be stingy. So let's dive into this ZM. So I shorted ZM this morning. I shorted it right here on this candle, on this green candle. I saw it uh, pushing up and I waited. And in this particular scenario, <coughs> actually, let me look at exactly where my trade was here. So I shorted it in this candle right here. And I'm going to show you guys the chart. There is the actual trade. So I hit it into this candle right here. Okay. And the reason why I hit it here into this next push into this line, because it did not reject very much. So I thought I would be able to get a fill off the pivot and get the retracement back to VWAP. That is the reason why. But here is what I want to explain. Once this continue once this retraces right here to VWAP and it has a decent little 50 cent pullback right there. Now look what it starts to do. And this is what you actually call an, uh, an opening range um, breakout or breakdown. And you see how the level starts to form right here at about 63.40. And then you have lows down here around 62.90. So once these levels start to form, the chart starts to take a new direction. So it's going to channel for a minute. You can see how it tests the top of the channel, the top of the range, and pulls back. Defines the bottom of the range, which is just so happens to be VLAP right here. And starts to define the bottom of the range. Comes back to the top of the channel, touches the top, comes back to the bottom of the range. And again, this is consolidation, right? So now guess what happens? You're looking for either the breakdown or the breakout. And in this particular case, you get the breakout. So here is what you don't want to do. You see it test one time. Pull back. Oh man, it's coming again. I'm going to hit it. When you hit it this time right here, the odds that this happens are much lower. They are much lower. Okay. And you don't want to be buying this dip right here. Because what can happen is this dips and establishes, this, I mean, this isn't even a line, right? There's no line here. This is just, it starts to establish a range. And there's no reason to, I'm, don't focus on intraday support very much, uh, if any at all. I hardly focus on it whatsoever. Um, the only time I keep an eye on it is if I think the trend is about to change. So it holds no bearing to anything else. Now, once you look at this, look, look at where it ran. So this is what you call an opening range breakout. Opens, defines a range with consolidation and breaks out. Um, it looks cleaner on a five minute chart. If you look at it like this, you can see the opening range gets defined and then break out. So, I mean, that's, that's a pretty clean setup right there, but it's not every day that that happens. Um, and I don't trade this particular setup uh, because 
I had a tab that traded this setup and he's like, dude, I've traded it. I traded it for like three years straight. And he's like, when it works, it works great. But when it, I mean, he says like, you're going to fail like seven out of 10 of these opening range breakouts or breakdowns, they're going to fail. And the three that work are not going to outweigh the losses you took on the other ones because it's just not as clean all the time. So I, I don't trade these setups. I don't trade this setup. It's a pattern. It happens. But for me, it was a short off of this pivot right here. As you can see, first test, retracement, second test, what happens? Breaks out. That's why you want to be there on the first one, not the second one. Okay, Work, same, same scenario. When you look at a one-minute chart today, right at the open, it pushes right to the pivot, right there. Opens up, pushes to the pivot, retraces. That's a good 20, 30 cents right there. If you take those two trades, you're up 50 cents, maybe a dollar a share if you're lucky on the day. If you caught the top and the bottom, best case, you're up a dollar a share. Hey traders, T Bradley 90 here, Tosh Bradley from My Investing Club Chat. Just wanted to reach out to you personally and show you how to contact myself personally if you have any questions about joining MIC, about MIC in general, or are on the fence and need a little bit of guidance before you join. For the first time ever, I have put out my personal number for you to reach me directly among my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com and our Twitter and IG handles. Reach out today and get any information you need on what makes MIC so great and why you should join us today.